How about that? It looks like we got some time here. <laughs> hey, what's up, YouTube? It's yo, your girl, yo. Deidre. I got my little friend with me, Chris. Hey, what's up? What's up? <laughs> totally different setting, though. I'm, like, I'm just sitting in the car. Like, it's yeah. like 12 some in the afternoon. Uh, my bestie decided to come through and whatnot. It's been a little bit harsh life reality shit and whatnot. But, you know, whatever. It might be a little bit too early, but I'm drinking anyway. She it's never too early. It's too late to be drinking. Telling you that. Yeah, early. got that Nikki drink though. This is good. It's good. Shout outs. And she is she trying that damn um rose, that apple orchard rose thing. Yes. It's this not is bad. Really it's actually just not bad. It's it's not bad at all, actually. I'm just like, oh, okay. Like okay. Yeah, it's really mellow. So like, why the fuck is she telling me about this Migo shit about how they got like raided while it was on tour ironically it said 420 so that was hilarious of course but i was like bruh i felt like they was looking for something it's like come on man what are the odds that they're just gonna get raided like either somebody said something in that damn tour bus or like they were searching they had to like been searching on some real talk they just had to they just they you know how to, you know how they want to search for something on black folks so whatever and that's what i pretty much feel that it was it's like because they're black rappers and you know they was like oh they probably have weed so i mean it's just fucked up it's like why can't you just leave people alone you know i mean this weed stuff all together just don't make no sense to me i mean most of the places is, is starting to get legal and then people still just want to be acting like oh it's such a problem but i mean come on now it's just old I'm no damn sense. Whatever. I mean, I'm sure they'll be all right and everything. They're celebrities and whatnot, but it's just, it's just, it's still just like it's a sad just the thing. Point. Yeah, behind it, you know. It really is just like a sad, sad thing. Like, uh. yeah, most people, most people ain't gonna give a fuck about being open on a damn Sunday. Like, shoes. It's part either religious or they just want that one day. That one day they just don't serve nobody. Like them random places that be closed on like a dumbass Tuesday or Wednesday. Like now that blows me. Like how the fuck a you Wednesday, like, my nigga. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, it's like I know, I know it's <laughs> it's like hump day close to that shit, but damn, like what the fuck? I mean, everybody needs that one day off. I get that, but it's like that's such a random ass thing. Like normally I see that in like salons or whatnot, they be like clothes on the on the monday the tuesday the wednesday and it's like we don't everybody is not here in the shop and i'm like okay i guess but then when it's like food places <laughs> and like when you said know. nail places <laughs> my fuckers want to get their nails done probably before church <laughs> I'm surprised. Let me see if she can squeeze me in today because that's just not going to work for me. <laughs> Where are you trying to get your nails at? Uh, salon couture. Hmm, that sounds sexy. <laughs> I bet they got like Vogue magazines all over the place. <laughs> oh, 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 Oh my god, they not even answering the they phone. They not answering the phone. <laughs> <laughs> See, they ain't fucking with I you. They have nothing They're not nice. fucking with you. <laughs> this weekend they was They probably crazy. busy. It's, it's a Saturday too. They probably back to back people in chairs with their little funky feet in the air. Like, <laughs> they ain't trying to answer the fucking what? phone. They probably got the little drill thing that's, you know, the, the, the little dust particles off the feet. That should be the killing me, yo. <laughs> No, you know what was funny as shit? Like, somebody was like, oh, trying to get back at people. So, you know how like, they have those little pods, the little dog, like, scrape the uh, shit off your feet, like the little dust, like you were saying. And, man, and then somebody uh, poured it on somebody's spaghetti so it looked like the cheat. And I was like, that's <laughs> Like, you eating somebody's foot flakes, uh, my nigga. Like, that's disrespectful. I've been seeing that joke all over the internet. Like, they, they, they sprinkle it on the pizza. It, it, why is it Italian That's food? literally putting your foot in the shit. Like, <laughs> Whoa. But why the Italian food? I mean, I guess it could be on anything, but it's always pizza. I always see it on pizza. Yeah, I always see it in spaghetti. I ain't see pizza, but that make me mad as shit. And then we just had pizza last night, so like, don't even say that right now. Like, I so mad. I totally forgot. Like, oh man, like it, I forgot his name, but like, I guess he plays the persona of TT. <laughs> That's why I first saw it. Be like, wait. How about that Parmesan? Oh, no. And he's he like, oh, yeah, baby, I love that Parmesan. 
god. So like it's sprinkling on the eat that shit no more. Like for real. No, what made it stupid about that video is that dude took a bite and then start coughing. Oh no. I was like, Ugh. get out of here, bro. <laughs> That shit did. <laughs> Just because we this know. That's why you don't eat people's <laughs> food. <laughs> that is disrespectful to me. No, but uh, the video was also getting back shit talking about why well, I saw some nasty ass draws in, in the hamper that wasn't even mine. I got a big ass dookie stain. <laughs> That's trife. Like, why do people do this? Like, I don't even know, man. Oh, that shit is just too funny for me. That shit is just too fucking funny, bro. I'm dead. Oh, my God. It's, it's just too funny. It's, it's too funny. Make fun of me. Why you gotta make fun of me every time I burp? Like, shit. Like, I can't help it. Like, damn. You know, you got... This got this got some slight bubble in it. Like it's got this got this got some slight bubble in it. Like got some brew in there. Yeah, you know, and I'm getting up drinking your damn beer and shit. Like, <laughs> oh, that one that I left in your house off the random. Uh, oh God, that you, can didn't you say that bitch exploded right? One of them exploded. I think Daddy tossed it. Oh okay. Yeah, I, I forgot it was still shit. some in it. <laughs> Honestly, I, I <laughs> forgot it was in. Yo, I forgot it was in the damn freezer. It was like, oh right, it's Chris Beer. Is that? <laughs> hey, it was free beer from Pennsylvania. I know that one road trip though. That was interesting. That was like one of the best. But uh, that shit not even gonna be like that no more since he wanna be all crazy. I mean, like I, I, I wish I would have seen him. Like I would have ran his ass over. That just don't make no damn sense. But that's what I be saying. Niggas is y'all talking to anybody. So, I guess it is what it is. I guess. Ugh, shit. Mm. But this don't make no sense, you know. You could just say that shit. But. Most of the time when people, when people don't talk about, like, if they're really seeing anybody or anything, it's just to keep their options open type mess. And, you know, as a single person, like... I can't get on him on that. But it's like, if you want to get into, like, a commit a commitment type of thing or whatever, like, you at least need to let somebody know what's good. Like, if you if you want to be exactly. serious with if someone... Exactly, asking you, and you already was talking about know you what's wanted good. me to be his girlfriend and stuff, and talking about all this, this stuff, it's like, okay, well, if you end up talking to somebody else, I mean, I don't care. I mean, but don't have me find out on social media or not say nothing at all. Because I clearly asked you, I'm like, okay, well, are you not interested anymore? You could have just said, no, I'm not. And I would have been okay with it. But then stuff like that makes you not want to be friends. And then it's like you wonder why bitches be, like, bitter and all this other crazy stuff. Because, I mean, that's that's messed up. I mean, I know you don't really owe people an explanation, but it's just a courtesy. Like, you could have just said, no, that's my thing. But Maybe you know, the only time you be... asked him or whatever, like, you know, he wasn't seeing her. He She was just around type shit. I and mean, then, like, I guess, during the course of the when y'all thing. wasn't talking or whatnot, that's when they got together. Like, that does happen. I mean, I don't know, like I said, but it's just the point, like, you at least talk to me pretty often. But then, like, that shit stopped. And like I said, and you just kind of just waddle away. Waddle away from here. Ugh, excuse me. You talk about my burping ass. <laughs> well, I have actual beer. <laughs> like, the fuck? So what? It's, people got gas. People got gas. Let me talk about my damn gas. Like, <laughs> it's my job to talk about you, though. <laughs> I don't know why you thought it won't a thing. Oh gosh, you real dumb as shit for that. I'm hoping that though the job just like do hit me up instead of that bullshit that happened yesterday. Like I went all the way to work just to be shown a schedule of me scratched off that oh you post to work today i thought you was off today i'm like if i was off today i was never told and they're like yeah you off today and i'm like why the fuck didn't anybody call me nobody call you i'm like bitch obviously <laughs> if i am here and i put my shit in the locker and i and i and i'm like i got my gold face on like ready team type shit about to be <laughs> out team. yeah ready team type shit on the on the on the floor or whatever it's like bro like I'm about to get ready for I'm about to clock in. Like, what the fuck? But that just don't make no sense because jobs always talk about being professional, which is cool, but it's like they'll easily not keep saying, don't call you back or want you to do a thousand things. Don't be taking off 
but they can just sit here and treat you any type of way like just fire you for no reason just be straight disrespectful and that's messed up because it's it's to the point where i like everything i feel like you just need to quit because they clearly don't fucking respect you i mean well shoot it's not like we're doing good on business any fucking ways like they always I mean, talking about I we didn't make it, a quota still, like we didn't make the money who else should they be sending home and then it's like you live the furthest away and then it's like that should act like they don't matter to you i mean shit i don't know what to say bro like i truthfully don't know what to say about this shit like that's just how they doing it because um when it affects the team they be taking they be like they'll they'll shave an hour off of everybody's shift and one co-worker was like are you serious like are you serious like <laughs> Uh, can, can I be the person to work their whole shift? They're like, no, we cutting everybody's shifts. I was like, damn. That's just messed up. We cutting everybody's shifts. I'm like, well, shit. And then the, fuck, the fuckery of it, I get so fucking tired of the shit, I'd be like, whatever to it. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty crazy, though. I don't know, that neighbor came home. Neighbor lady. Yeah, she she a nice lady. I kind of felt bad that, like, I didn't know that her mother died, and I asked and shit. She was like, she's dead. I was like, oh. That's messed up. I mean, if you oh. ain't know, you ain't know. I, I mean, it, it just felt awkward for a second. I was just like, shit, I am so sorry. Like, ooh. Like, did not mean to be that person. <laughs> right. I mean, that's <laughs> just crazy. bring it up. Because, like, that, I mean, losing a parent probably is, like, the most hurtful thing ever. Hell so, yeah. You know, I'd be like, ugh, to that. Like, my, my condolences, basically. Yeah, for sure. I mean, that's messed up, though. A lot of classmates lost parents. Just, yeah, like, parents. not too long after you graduated. Like, I was like, damn. That's gotta be a blow. That's messed up, yeah. But, you know, enjoy them while you still have them. Yeah. You know, PSA for the day. <laughs> <laughs> like, shit, man. Unless they're just a bunch of jerks, which you should not enjoy. Well, if, I mean, if you had a good relationship with your parents, I'm pretty sure, like, you would miss them. But if you had a shitty-ass relationship with your parents, then, okay, fuck it then. I mean, you know, it is what it is at that point in time. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I am still mad that I could not get my hair washed. And then, as soon as I even get home, I'm either, I'm not feeling too great. Yeah, that was everything one play at my head hurt my as soon as my head started feeling better, my damn stomach started hurting. I was like, Really? You really? Must have ate something wrong. Like that pizza must have got to you. It probably did. I did I did say that I was eating junk food and shit like that, so And then brownies probably ain't hoop. I mean the brownie was fine or whatever. But it was it was it, it probably was that pizza. I kept burping that damn pizza like <laughs> <laughs> but and them anchovies is lit though. Yeah, you know what? I I I think I got a new love. Them anchovies was good. <laughs> Alright, well that's about to be the new thing because they definitely blew me and did really not good. put enough on there. I was fat as shit off that. I was like, yeah. And yeah, you felt like they were skipping off the anchovies. They did. You know they put like <laughs> one on like two. Like, you were trying to put the jaw, like, all two squares. It was a long-ass strip of anchovies. No, it was <laughs> not. That shit was low as hell. Like, fuck that. I get it, but that shit was salty. It's like, some people probably did complain, talk about, they put too much anchovies on this bitch. Like, you know, they probably did that shit. You know, <laughs> you know anchovies is salty, so it's like... Well, well, what do you, what did you expect? <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, like, you know, people got bitch and complain about I something, right? Hear, you right, but I don't want to hear that because, like, you could have just not, like, you could have oh, just not. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is this is hilarious. This is it's hilarious. I don't know what to say about that, but yeah, new love and appreciation. I mean, I mean, shoot. If y'all like anchovies, like let 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 me know. Like, shoot, are we the anchovies. only ones that fuck with the anchovies on the pizzas? And like, sardines. I haven't had sardines yet. My mom, if my mom crushed sardines, like she seriously do crush sardines. I was just like, and each time she would show me, it, it looked like an actual whole fish. I'm like, mom, what are you supposed to do with it? I mean, you you eat the whole damn thing. And you that's cut another the head, thing. The tail, what do you saying, do? Like. People don't like that type of stuff because they don't know how to eat it. Because remember, that's what I was just telling you. In yeah, that's sardine shit. Day. I don't know how to eat that. I just see the whole just little mini it. fish. Eat the motherfucker. I, you, you eat the eyeball and the tail and all that? All that shit is edible? I mean, why not? It just sounds nasty. 
edible, they would have cut the joint off. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't know. I'm like sometimes, like even 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 old boy at the Whole Foods, where like he be working at the uh, seafood section. And he talks to me all the time about cutting up the damn fish, cutting the head, tail, like, preparing this shit. I was like, you supposed to do that with Chardines? I don't fucking know. Like, he's the fish of God. I would just have to ask. I seriously would just have to ask. I mean, I would guess that would be your preference. I mean, if you don't want to eat no heads, then don't eat no heads. Don't eat no head. <laughs> don't eat no tails, neither. <laughs> eh, not that grocery shit. <laughs> you wild as hell. I mean, shoot. You eat, you eat head or ass is one of them. Hey, that's what the people like nowadays. <laughs> that shit is still that shit is disgusting. I don't give a fuck what everybody say. That shit Have is disgusting. Have you tried it? Hell fucking no. Then how do you know it's disgusting? <laughs> it's disgusting because shit particles gonna be in my fucking mouth. Then wash the bar, the rump before you eat it. Fuck that shit. Fuck nah, that shit. Nah. I, I say it now. Fuck that grocery but shit. But she get it fuck done that her, grocery like, shit. Ooh. No. Fuck that grocery shit. Groceries, the booty like groceries. You see, that's what I'm talking about. You gotta just eat it like a snack. Whatever. I you got, just gotta pull up on it. Looks like I'm gonna cut this video short. Looks like I let my timer a little running now, or I don't know. Like I'm still trying to figure this little shit out with my phone and whatnot. But catch you later. It's just a slice of life thing. Like I'm just chilling outside. You know, I might have to work today. I don't even know. It will be but back later because she ain't going nowhere. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but thanks for chilling with me, guys. All right. Special guest appearance, Chris. And, you know, got to figure out birthday plans or whatnot. I got to look for another damn hotel to, like, crash at for we'll the be B-Day. My B-Day's at the end of the month. I'm definitely going to be Turn showing that up. shit. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Hit me up on my social medias. So I'll have that in the, in the description down there somewhere. So... And I'm Martinez Chris. Come find me. Yeah, I'm, I'll put her social media in there too. So catch you later, guys. Bye.